So with our map, what happens is we have paid leads and we have organic, organic leads coming in. So we need to capture them. We need to capture these and drive people to our, our URL, which is our website or our landing page. Now on our landing page, we're gonna have obviously across the top, we're gonna have a banner, we're gonna have the uh, good headline, uh, compelling headline, we're gonna have a bit of an information about ourselves. We're gonna actually tell them, you know, what are our training tips that we're gonna give them. We're gonna also on our landing page, we're gonna give a little bit of our testimonials and also how, how we relate to them as well. How we actually have been in a situation similar to theirs as well. And on top of that, we're gonna have maybe a short video, maybe about you know 30 seconds or something like that, just explaining a bit about our free gift that we're gonna do. And of course, we've got an opt-in page. So once we have the opt-in page, they opt in. So once they opt in, then what happens is we've got a campaign, an emailing sequence campaign set up so it grabs their information and we've got that information. So what they get back straight away is they get the opt-in that they've asked for. So they'll get that free guide or, or whatever they wanted. But they'll also be on our mailing list because now they're giving us permission to actually mail to them as well. So now we've got them sitting in our mailing list and they've got their resource. Now, if, we've, if we, for example, have asked them to put their phone number down, it gives us a reason then to make another point of contact because we can pick up the phone and say, hey, I noticed that you downloaded the free guide. Love to get your thoughts around that. So we can create a conversation around why, what was the purpose why they actually downloaded that, that, that free guide but it brings into our funnel. So then what we might do is we might wait um, for a period, say seven days or, or uh, you know, whatever, whatever we decide to wait for, and then we'll send them an offer. It's called a tripwire. And the tripwire is something less than $50. So it could be, hey, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to invite you to uh, a two hour um, networking event or whatever. Um, you know, it's going to be nibbles there or something's there, the investment is, you know, $49 or whatever. Or I've got a short e-book that I've put together or an activity book and, again, it's a low, it's a low point of, 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 of entry, low point of entry. So if they take that, then they're starting to, to experience you. They're starting to, 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 to like what they've got. So then you can then drive them then forward to a nurturing system so an email sequence could be starting to add some value, starting to get some hints and tips, starting to, to um, send through some testimonials. You know, you're starting your own nurturing process. There's lots of ideas that you can do in your nurturing process as well. And of course, after about five or six of emails, then you're going to start to announce a launch of uh, your service or your product, which will actually drive them along that sequence again. And then eventually um, they'll be tagged if they do, you, do buy your products and services. And if they're not tagged, then they stay in the nurturing system. And it's a very really good idea to at least send out once a week some sort of information to your list so that they always remember you. So that when, the, when they do make a decision to make that purchase in their business, they're thinking of you first. They're not thinking of your competitors along the way as well. Now, the big question a lot of people ask me is, well, if you do that, do they get like over it and, and uns unsubscribe? And if you're adding value and not trying to sell to them every time you talk to them and they find it is valuable, they will stay there. They may not necessarily read everything because sometimes we're really busy and you know what it's like, that inbox and we step away, but they won't uns unsubscribe. So they're still there, so and they still will start to notice you because in the in inbox, oh, that was that was Lee again, and they start to notice you and remember you along the way as well. So they don't necessarily read everything that you've given, but if they stay on the list, that means you're not annoying them. And of course, you're always going to get some people who are going to step away from the list, and that's fine because they probably would never been customers of yours as well. So I usually find that when I do a big campaign. 
I may get, I've got, a, you know, I may only get about about five or six people stepping away, but my intake on my list is a lot higher. So you've got to, you know, obviously measure and look at that. And if you're starting getting a big drop off from your list, then you've got to sit down and look at that and say, are you becoming too salesy? Are you trying to push too much too fast for them as well? So it's all about tracking and measuring. But it's really important to have this in your business because um, a lot of people just don't follow up. They just don't follow up and what they do is they'll go to a networking function or they'll do something, they'll pick up a business card, they'll come back and send an email out there saying, it was great meeting you today kind of thing, we've got to catch up and usually that's it. There's nothing else happening along the way as well. But if you've got your list, you can put them in, it's all automated, it's all happening for you and, and uh, it makes your time management very much easier along the way as well.